our warm virtual greetings to everyone with us today. And welcome to the much-anticipated Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino 2020. Hashtag Sama All. Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino or PPP is the Film Development Council of the Philippines flagship film festival. And since its outing in 2017, PPP has showcased quality Filipino films in all theaters nationwide. Now on its fourth year and as we face a global pandemic, the PPP4 has been launched through online edition with a selection of 170 films. PPP continues its aim to provide a platform where Filipino films can connect to the wider Filipino audience through its nationwide release. Coinciding with the online film festival screenings is a series of talkbacks, panel discussions, film lectures, and special events that are held in PPP. The talkbacks and panel discussions aim to bring together the people behind the films featured in PPP4 to discuss and get to know more about their process in making these films. Exclusive film lectures on screenwriting, musical scoring, and more will also be conducted that filmmakers, producers, film enthusiasts, and students alike can take part in. To register to PPP film screenings and public events, visit our website at fdcpchannel.ph. We remember the stories in history through the films we've watched. Through this medium, we preserve our cultural and cinematic heritage. This session delves into the process of the film archiving and significance in the preservation of this country's cinematic heritage, including, of course, the journey, the restoration, and premiere of the 1956 classic, Anak Dalita. Our moderator for today is the grandson of Dr. Gregorio Fernandez and the son of Rudy Fernandez and Lorna Tolentino. He has graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Interdisciplinary Studies at Ateneo de Manila University. He further took his studies at Moel Fund Film Institute. He started his career by helping design the logo FDCP is currently using. He joined Star Magic in 2010 to 2011 and studied directing under Mr. Johnny Manahan as a floor director. He is the head archivist of their family archives and has facilitated the scanning of the celluloid materials from his father, Rudy Fernandez's vaults. He produced a documentary about his father's life and times in 2015. He is also an actor, most recently as a cop in FPJ's Ang Provinciano and a streamer on Kumu. Let us all welcome Mr. Rap Fernandez. Hello, everyone. Hi. Thank you for having me here, uh, FDCP. Um, ayun, thanks for everybody who's watching right now. Uh, thanks for staying, kahit may konting delay. But we're all we're all on the ball now. So, ayun, let me introduce uh, our first panelist. Let's introduce our first panelist, uh, Sir Leo Katigbak. Uh, Le Sir Leo Katigbak is the head of the Film Archives and Restoration. He started out as a, a writer, video editor, director, and producer in 1986 before moving to the corporate side of the business in 1992. In 1994, he set up the ABS-CBN Film Archives and concurrently worked in ABS-CBN Acquisitions prior to his assignment in Studio 23 as Head of Programming and Acquisitions and subsequently Head of Studio 23, a post he held till 2008 before going back to ABS-CBN. From 2008 to 2015, he headed the Content Management Group and Film Archives as well as Special Projects under the Office of the President. Today, Mr. Katigbak, heads the ABS-CBN film restoration efforts sa Gipilikula campaign, using his knowledge and passion generations of Filipinos. Yun. 
uh, here's Mr. Leo P. Katigbak. Okay. So, I will introduce the, our next panelist. Um, Ms. Julie Navarro Galino. Uh, she was, she's a graduate of Bachelor in Broadcasting and Radio Communications from Polytechnic University of the Philippines in Manila. She has nearly 30 years of work experience in film. She started her career with LVN Pictures, the oldest motion picture laboratory and post-production house in the Philippines for 20 years. In 2002, she began supervising the LVN Film Archives, and in 2005, when LVN closed its operations, she was appointed by the Board of Directors to stay as Administrative and Finance Officer. In 2011, she joined ABS-CBN Film Archives and to continue her love and passion for film. Here's our second panelist, Julie Navarro Galino. Welcome, Ms. Julie. Hi, good afternoon, and welcome. I'm so glad to be here with PPP. Hi, Ms. Julie. Thank you. Hello, Rap. Um, there. Let's give it up for Sir Leo. He's already with us. Uh, okay. So, Miss Julie, I didn't know that you, I know, work pala with LVN. So, did you work with uh, Mike DeLeon personally? Yes, actually, that was my last job. Ah, last, uh, yeah, last position in um, LVN Pictures. Actually, started working there in 1990, and then ah, okay. ng ano, department. So before the shutdown of LVN, that was my last uh, position in the film archives with the uh, was Mike Delio. With the yeah. Do you Mel, know Mel? Mel? Oh, the Mel. Yeah. Oh. Mel Reeves now in that. Yung pala yung ano mo background. So talagang yes, nakalinya that's... ka dito sa ano, archiving. Paggawa ng, yes, uh, pag-save ng mga pelikula. Uh, that was my first job actually. Tapos tuloy-tuloy na hanggang dito sa yes. ABS-CBN. Yes, no? yes. yes. Ako, actually, natuto lang akong archiving sa inyo ni Sir Leo, eh. Nung nagsistart ako, naalala mo yun, way back nung, di ba? Ba ba back when Miss Mary was still there, di ba? I yes, remember. Yes, so, when you oh. started the, the restoration of Edwards. Oo, oh, I was there for the very first restored film ng, ano, uh, ABS-CBN uh, Film Archive. Yung unang restoration nyo, I think, is Himala, if I'm not mistaken, di ba? Yes. And I was there for the premiere of that, and uh, Nora, Nora was there too, and Sir Ricky Lee, diba? You remember that yes. one? That was a yeah, while back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can't remember because what year that was. I think it was 2012. Ah, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, so, you also, so, I, uh, mm -hmm. it started so, um, in L. Oh, oh. Sir Mike, because I met him. Uh, through Cesar Hernando, he introduced me to Direct Mike, and uh, he gave me all of my grandfather's films. So, oh. pinasa niya sa akin in DVD format. So, meron ako copy ng lahat ng Gregorio Fernandez dito. Tsaka isang anak dalita, nirigalo niya rin sa akin. I think he also wow. did, and you guys also did parang preliminary scanning din, di ba dun? Dati. Yes, oh. Uh -huh. So, ang binigay niya, yung video mismo in DVD format and then uh, did he also provide you with uh, still photos of your uh, grandfather's um, yeah, Recently lang niya binigay yung still photos. Recently ko lang nakuha. Pero dati pa, ever since nung, ano, uh, yung first na pinadala niya sa akin, yung Malva Rosa eh. Pinadala niya lang Kasi... through Cesar. Tapos nakamaster yun eh. Ang galing nga nung kay, kay Direct Mike yung ginagawa niya parang naka ano naka author so tas naka print out yung ano may may layout tas may nagpe-print out siya sarili niyang kumbaga parang kinustom made make niya talaga may, may synopsis sa likod malinis hindi siya mukhang pirated kumbaga din, uh, makikita mo oh detalyado sobrang detalyado 
ito tinitreasure ko nga yung mga binigay niya yun dahil kumpleto eh pati yung print out nung papel na yung ang tawag doon label nung DVD siya rin yung gumawa uh, tapos nilayout right, niya right. and everything hmm. uh, siya rin gumawa nun so for so, uh, from 1990 hmm. yung experience mo with him may mga ginawa rin kayong mga restoration or mga scanning mga ganun oo uh, actually syempre hindi pa naman digital hmm. dati so yung project kasi namin una yung scanning ng mga uh, still photos so we have a scan from 1939 films of eight uh, of LVN up to I think that uh, until 1958 or half of 1959 still negatives of LVN they were all is- scanned and they were all uh, put in a DVD so pero ngayon kasi dahil wala na yung LVN it was uh, turned over as donation to the Lopez Museum. And then aside from uh, that, uh, meron din kaming mga pelikula na na-restore, pero ano lang siya, conventional lang siya, parang it's a migration from the uh, old film para lang ma-save namin yung pelikula. Kasi syempre, di ba, nag-deteriorate uh, na rin dahil matagal na rin po, tapos hindi pa siya ganun mm. naka-store in a uh, proper storage room. So we have we needed to uh migrate it to a new um new print gumawa kami ng bagong print so ito yung mga pinapalabas na natin ngayon na we were ABS ABS CBN also were able to scan yung ibong adar na um, Malvarosa and Biaya ng Lupa and this anakdalita is now the fourth film na na release namin na na-scan namin into 2K so okay. at least you scan yeah, because uh, the source is uh, 16mm. So, yung, yung nagawa namin with uh, Boss Mike Bedion, uh, Direct Mike Bedion, kasi yung tawag natin sa kanya, um, hmm. at least ito, uh, dahil meron na siyang bagong print ulit, pero that was, ano eh, na, na migrate namin siya, nakagawa na kami ng bagong print, mga 2003 or 2004, bago, or mga one year or two years, bago mag-shutdown ng um, LVN. So, na-preserve namin talaga yung tatlong pelikula na yun. Na in oh, good condition. Well, where are the other celluloid na uh, from LVN? So, napunta yung mga film mat- materials nila? Uh, uh, sa Lopez Museum ba? Tama? Uh, yung mga film reels, yung mga film materials, um, hindi, yung, ang tinanggap lang kasi ng ano, Lopez Museum or the, yung mga contemporaries. Pero for the film reels, uh, dinala lahat yun sa ABS-CBN. That's part of the license uh, agreement between ABS-CBN and LVN. Tapos so, kasama ka na rin sa package, Julie. <laughs> and, uh, next day pa kasi. Kasama ka na rin. <laughs> Yes, pero uh, after ano, after uh, siguro mga ilang years, napunta na rin ako sa ABS, pero hindi nag-drop up pa kasi kami ng diba, siyem, nag, nag-close syempre yung LVN. Ah, so, okay. Ah, hindi agad-agad. Hindi, hindi agad-agad. Agad. Sinundan mo. Oh, sinundan mo. Sinundan ko yung mga pelikula ng LVN. Oo, oh, sinundan mo yung mga pelikula ng LVN. Ang galing, ang galing. Uh, ang galing talaga yung ginagawa nyo. Um, should I start with some of the questions? Uh, regarding yung proseso ng film restoration, uh, paano po ba nag-uumpisa to? Para sa mga hindi, uh, wala pang alam or bago dun sa subject, paano mo siya introduce sa isang taong wala pang kamalay-malay ukol dun sa ginagawa nyo? Paano mo ipapaliwanag yung proseso? Nang pag-restore namin, ano? Mm-hmm. Oo. Yes. Kasi, uh, ang restoration kasi, uh, bago namin siya i-restore, kailangan muna namin ma-inspect. The, we kailangan mag-umpisa muna tayo doon sa mismong pelikula. So, yung mga, like itong anak dalita, dahil dito tayo sa anak dalita. So, itong anak dalita, nakalagay ito sa uh, storage room sa vault ng ABS-CBN with the control temperature na meron siyang 10 degrees Celsius na lamig. Tapos, meron siyang 35% na relative humidity. Yun kasi yung... Uh, storage ta uh, storage temperature na kailangan ng isang pelikula para hindi siya mabilis na mag-deteriorate. So nung when we decided to scan this film, uh, kailangan siyang dumaan ng acclimatization. So yung acclimatization acclimatization kasi meron kaming dalawang rooms doon na it will stay for 3 days before you have to take them out of that acclimatization room para 
para mag-normalize yung kanyang ano yung yung film kasi galit siya sa malamig, 'di ba? So para hindi biglang mainit, kailangan mo siyang acclimatize. So after that, bali yun yung pinaka first phase ng uh, bago namin i-restore yung pelikula. So after that, uh, it will go through uh, film inspection. Yung film inspection na to, ito yung parang to diagnose kung may damage ba yung physical na mismo ng pelikula. And then, uh, you, you have to check it kung there are uh, broken splices, kung may torn edges, ganun. So, i-repair yun. And then, uh, pag na-repair mo na yung mga yun, kailangan mo na siyang linisin. Kasi before it has to go through a uh, scanner, kailangan malinis din yung pelikula. So, since dati kasi meron tayong uh, ultrasonic cleaning machine, dati sa LVN meron doon. So, bago, bago siya i-print dati, kailangan mo na siyang linisin. Dadaan ng chemicals, dadaan ng, sa laboratory, dadaan ng machine para malinis. Pero this time, because it's no longer available, it's not available in uh, our in ABS, so ginawa na lang namin is um, linisin siya through flannel cloth using a 99% alcohol. Yun. So after that, um, pwede na namin siyang dalhin sa film scanner kasi we have our own film scanner in the office. So, <clears throat> ayun, uh, I, yung, yung pala, ano, before I forget, itong um, anak dalita, parang last year pa siya ginawa, but last year pa siya na-scan. Oo, at nag-scan pa nito si JR Makatangay, yung office mate namin dahil. Oh, CR. Oh. Yeah, CR, yeah. So, siya yung nalinis, oh, no? Siya yung nalinis, no? Ah, okay. Yes. Oh, and 16mm then, um, ko, diba? Tama. Yeah, 16mm. 16mm print, okay. actually. And then after that, yun ka, ay dinanan namin siya sa film scanner. Kailangan kasi pag in-scan mo siya, hindi siya pwedeng uh, parang archival winding. Kasi iba yung archival winding, iba rin yung uh, pag uh, re-rewind mo ng pelikula. Oh. Oh, oh, when you, uh, oh, oh, when you, when you, when you, when you, oh yes. Kasi okay. baka dapat medyo tight siya para hindi siya bumuslo. Kasi di ba hinihila yun ng machine eh. So, it was uh-huh. scanned by one of my colleagues, si Marco Gatpandan. So, siya yung aming uh-huh. ano, uh, uh, technician for for the for scanning of our films. And then, doon na-scan naman na siya, then, eto na yung parang last or third phase of restu- uh, of the restoration. Yung ito na yung kailangan na namin siyang i-correct, yung color. Oh, but since this mm. is a black film, kailangan lang namin i-adjust yung contrast at saka yung brightness. And then, after that, uh, pwede na namin siyang linisin, pwede na namin siyang idaan sa automated restoration. Kasi uh, we we did the restoration of anak dalita dito lang sa facility ng ABS-CBN. So, there are uh, may mga limitations for the restoration because of the software that we use. So, after, so yung, mga, yung ginawa namin automated restoration is pantanggal lang ng mga light and shallow scratches and specks. So, it's not totally uh, uh, cleaning up of yung mga molds, yung mga deeper scratches yung hindi nila matatanggal, pero nabawasan. And then, uh, mm. meron din mga pictures, green, kasi iba-iba kasi impairments yung nasa image ng pelikula, pero uh, minimize lang namin yung mga nakikita mong parang jerk or shakiness doon sa video, minsan gumagalan, di ba? So, yun, nalilesan na, namin yun. At ang gumawa noon, yung kasama namin, si Nick Pestaño. So, I think ah, uh, he did a very well uh, job for anak dalita. Uh, tsaka, ginawa din niya, in-enhance din niya, or a little, um, parang yung loudness level, medyo in-adjust din niya yun. Parang kasi yung, yung anak dalita kasi, yung sound negative niya, medyo yung kumukulot na parang biglang dalaka, si Hina, ganyan. So, medyo oh. uh, na-fit din niya, pero hindi siya totally na talagang nalinis. So, pero more or less, na- napakaganda talaga ang kinawang uh, scanning and restoration ni Kung Pilipala. Uh, super masalimut pala yung proseso, no? So, uh, kung i-recap natin, yung umpisa is yung acclimatization. So, galing sa vault na malamig, lalagay mo muna sa isang kwarto para bumaba yung, para dandan siya ma-acclimatize for three days, di ba? Tapos, yeah. inspection. After no inspection for scratches, cleaning. After no cleaning, scanning na ba? Oh, scanning. Tapos, 
after nung scanning, tsaka mo na dinadaan dun sa auto cleaner plus yeah. inagos yung audio tsaka yung kulay. Okay, so yun. So kung nanonood kayo, guys, yun lang yung kailangan nyo gawin. Madali lang. <laughs> oh, parang, <laughs> uh, <laughs> pero mahirap gawin. Madali lang kung iba-iba yung mga gumawa. Marami sila, oh. di ba? Sila Mick, sila JR. Ano, 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 Uh, so, ano mga challenges na encounter in preserving film, in, in, in preserving particularly this film? May mga challenges uh, ba kayong na, ano, sira ba siya, or may mga kulang, or kompleto to? Uh, actually, siguro ang uh, share ko yung when it was first preserved in LVN. Kasi, uh, mm. syempre, doon siya start di ba? Oo. So, nung preserve kasi namin to, I think, nung nakapagpwentuhan nga kami ni Mel, Uh, so, uh, actually, it was uh, Mike Lillion who uh, put up the film archives of LVN and he also was the one who started the re- preservation of the legacy of his Lola. So, itong mga pil- films ng LVN kasi nadudun lang siya sa warehouse. Anong warehouse na ma- mataas yung ceiling pero hindi siya aircon. Nandun lang mm. siya sa LVN town. And then, okay. ang challenge, para, Parang siguro si share ko dalawang challenges ano kasi doon sa pinaglagyan sa warehouse nung pelikula andun din kasi nakatira yung mga nagtatrabaho sa LVN yung mga katuwala so meron kasi doon sa hindi ko lang alam if siguro naman nakapasyal ka doon sa LVN dati so meron basketball court oh. doon doon sa food noon meron doon uh, mga bahay tapos meron doon parang ano warehouse where yung mga film reels ng LVN doon siya naka-store So, nung napinot at ni Boss Mike yung uh, bagong uh, uh, vault, pinagkukuha lahat yun na talagang madami na siyang, madami nang nasira. So, uh, we are so lucky enough na itong uh, anak dalita, maybe, it, galing din ito doon sa mga reels na yon So, tuwing ano, kasi merong karinderya doon eh, tuwing merong ano, kakain doon, Pupunta si na Mel doon para kunin yung film niya. Hindi niya na makuha kasi nagagalit siya kung makain kami dahil nga masyado na mala- masyado na maamoy yung vinegar syndrome. Yung oh. tapos doon sa pagka dinala na doon sa vault na tinayo na bago. Um, ang nagiging problem naman doon yung um, aircon kasi di ba yung mga mm. reels ng aircon vinegar syndrome na So, medyo may, may acid. So, yung aircon namin doon, kasi we had uh, four airports in, in school, in the vault. Yung isa, five-tanner. Yung, yung namang dalaw, ay, yung dalawa, five-tanner. Tapos yung dalawa naman, parang ano lang siya, window type. So, every ano, one month to two months, nagpapalit kami lagi ng aircon. Kasi nga nasisira lagi yung aircon. Ah, so, ay, yung mismo pelikula, nagkukos nung pagkasira ng aircon dahil may yeah. syndrome siya, vinegar syndrome siya, no? Ah, okay, challenging okay. nga yun. Ano kayo? Oo, kasi yung, yung film kasi dati, di ba, acetate pa siya. Eh, yung acetate, pag, acid, acid kasi yun eh. So, nahihigop siya ng oh. aircon. Ayun, so, Ayun lagi lang. nasisira. Yun yung mga ano, yun yung mga for those na na-encounter during the preservation of oh. this film. Pero when it was transferred na to ano, uh, ABS-CBN, uh, the state of the art, uh, film vault of ABS-CBN, parang hindi naman na naging problematic yung preservation. Ah, okay. Mas dumali na dahil mas high-tech na ganun. Ayos. Uh-huh. Pero okay na. Hindi ko alam na nakakasira pala ng aircon yung pelikula. Kasi nung dati, oh, yung sa tatay ko, iwan ko sa opisina, bago ko nilipat sa FDCP, uh, bago, bago ko nilipat sa FDCP, nandun siya sa opisina, tapos pagbukas ko nung, uh, ano to, nung cabinet, parang may, yung uh, vinegar smell na solid, ah, parang ano to, para so, pero tinry ko siya i-preserve dun for a while, inoon ko yung aircon, ganun. Uh, inoorasan ko to keep the, the humidity down, ganun. Pero ang tasa kuryente, mahal. Tsaka ano, masisira nga yung aircon. Hindi kaya ng... Ano? Dapat 24-7 yung aircon mo din eh. Dapat kasi stable din yung ano, yung, yung dapat control temperature. Oh, hindi dapat umakit baba, di ba? Yung temperature. Tsaka mm-hmm. yung humidity. Ang hirap, very sensitive yung pelikula, yung celluloid talaga. Eh ngayon, digital na, di ba? So, at least medyo hindi siya kasing sensitive. Pero, uh, ano, ano yung, ano yung pakinamda? Let's move on to, Julie, ano yung, what do you get out of this? Na, bakit mo to ginagawa? Tapos may feeling ka ba na nararamdaman kapag 
kunwari may na-preserve kang isang pelikula na uh, ano yung feeling inside? Parang yung motivations mo tsaka yung... Ako talaga yun kasi... Yun, pag ka or may na-preserve ka, ano yung pakiramdam? Yeah, syempre ako talaga kasi ano, I'm so happy, happy talaga na finally, unti-unti lang kasi pagdating ko sa LVN at trabaho eh. So, um, parang na-in-love na ako sa pelikula, lalo na sa mga luma pelikula kasi yun na hawak namin. So, unti-unti ko lang nakikita yung mga ganitong klaseng pelikula na, na pag na-restore, yung hinawakan ko, yung pinreserve namin, yung in-inventory namin, yung pinapanood pa lang namin dati sa SD na daming scratches, na nagtsatsaga kami talaga dun sa uh, ang, ang daming flickers, Uh, tapos ang daming ano uh, ang daming ang daming bonds pero ngayon uh, it's a great feeling na nakita ko na nakita na nakikita ko na na uh, and it's uh, clearer cleaner brighter in 2K resolution parang unbelievable na meron pala ganitong uh, klase ng technology na yung mga lumang pelikula dati pwede pa pala natin maisalba at mapapakita mo ng mas maganda kesa siguro nung pinalabas ko ng unang release niya. Mm, so, ang galing, no? Mm-hmm. Dapat ma... Dapat sana makita ng mga taong nanonood yun tapos makita nila yung comparison nung dati tapos yung pag na na, di ba? Um, can you elaborate yung pag-join mo naman sa ABS-CBN sa GIP Pelikula tsaka yung uh, yung costing siguro? nung how, how much ay baka si Sir Leo na yung sasagot pala nun di ano na lang yung sagip pelikula paano ka napasok dun from the ABS-CBN um, archive oo actually di ba nag shutdown na ang ABS ay ang um, LVN noong 2005 and then mm-hmm. uh, ako yung ano parang ultimate survivor ng LVN ako yung na iwan until uh, 2011 kasi at the Nag-relocate kasi ng office ang um, LVN. So, medyo malayo na sa place namin. Nahirapan ako. So, nag-transfer ako sa ABS-CBN. Um, and then, in 2011 din. Uh, siguro, mga mga three months siguro na nag-stop ako sa work. Until na, mm-hmm. uh, tulungan ako ng ABS-CBN para makapato. And also, the help of... Uh, yung may former boss din sa ABS, uh, sa LVN. So, ayun, uh, nag- may opening kasi, exacto, film restoration. So, I was hired for that project. So, ako yung, ako yung, ano, nag-oversee ng workflow. Uh, ako yung pupunta sa, sa Central Digital Lab, where the restorations being, ano, held, mostly, tapos um, ako din yung part ng uh, nagunood yung QC, yung preview. Ah, And then, oo. Uh, Why ganyan? <laughs> o, oh, parang nakapunta na ako dun sa Central Digital Lab eh, kay Manet, di ba? Yes, Tapos, oo. Doon yung restore yung Himala, di ba? Nag-iba-iba ba kayo yeah. ng mga re- restoration units? Like, kunwari, yung iba sa CDL, yung iba within ABS oh. yung itong anak dalita sa pagkakaintindi ko is within ABS nyo lang ginawa lahat ng restoration and scanning di ba wala kayong outsider uh, ano actually sa ngayon kasi dati kasi wala pa naman kami ano eh film scanner so everything uh, siya sa CDL or sa Retrovata or sa Antana kasi hindi lang ah, sa CDL kami o oh, yung service uh, restoration service provider namin so meron ng iba even hmm. in what so Ayun, um, ina-avail namin so, yung mga yun kasi mahal din kasi yung restoration. Ako, kasi nag- nandun ako sa very beginnings nung ano eh. Andun ako, uh-huh. kasama ko si Sineo, kay- yeah. ayo, magkakasama tayo. <laughs> nung first time na yun, yung Himala, di ba yun yung una, Himala. From then until now, ilan na yung na-restore nyo tsaka na-ayos yung pelikula? Uh, yung total number. Para lang may uh-huh. idea yung mga nakikinig tsaka nanonood. Yeah, yun yung completely restored na is 188 titles. It's a combination wow. of star cinema and star cinema. And then oh. at the end of the year, uh, we will be uh, having 100, a total of 192 titles already. Kasi meron na kami nice. 4 titles. Pero that's about so, to be completed na at the end of so the year. So from Himala to now, nagkaroon kayo ng, nakapag-restore pa kayo ng 192 
or almost 192. Di ba? Yeah. Wow, you guys yes. have been super busy pala. Solid. Ang galing. Oo. Uh-huh. Napanood ko yung ibang restored classics mo eh. Like yung, ano, favorite ko yung yung parang Going Bananas. Anong title nun? Bad Bananas. bananas. Oh, Abby. Bad Bananas. Oh. Tapos yung Abby. Favorite yun. Panalo yun. Tapos yung, nirestore nyo rin yung sa Papa at Mama ko, di ba? Yung I, sa init Inis, ng apoy, tama ba? Yes, yes. Oh, yung Rudy Fernandez na hindi action na horror. Oh, maganda yun. Sana maka, makalambing ako ng kopya sa inyo. Baka pwede nyo yung padala dito sa bahay. <laughs> Baka si Sir Leo, biglang... Oh, bakit? I can hear you. Ah, okay. Oo, oh, oh, oh. ah, ito, tama. Gets ko yung message. Oh, pero, ah, ito pala, oh, bago, bago tayo mag, ano, papakita natin sila ng sample, baka na-board na sila sa tsikahan natin, Julie. Gawin natin, okay. ano, ah, ipupull up nyo yung video ng before and after nung anak dalita. Pakipull up tech people. You can do it, guys. Magic. Anak ng dalita. At higip ng luha Ang narito tumitibig Nabigyan ang awa Buksan mo ang langit At pusa mo Marami ka ba magdasa? Oo, ba? Kasi kanina ikaw mo. Marami wala lang. Hindi alam mo, mabuti na rin naman yung marami magdasa. Kung nga nakatutulong din naman yun. Lalo-lalo na sa katulad natin na mukha bang talagang wala ng pag-asa sa buhay at palagi na lamang nakalimok sa hirap at pagdadaling hukot. Magtanong ka kung di tunay Sakit lang ng mga sala Magtanong ka rin sa una Nang taglay kong dadita Hello, wow, wow. Nakita niyo yun, guys. Ang layo nung ang layo nung ano, yung resolution, yung yung clarity, yung sharpness. Ang dami nilang nagawa. Tapos, kumbaga, makukumpara mo talaga pag side by side na ganun eh, di ba? Julie. So, ang dami ng trabaho yeah. na ginawa nila. What part of that is automatic and what part of it is yung manual? May manual na ba doon? Um, actually, automated restoration po lahat ang ginawa doon. Kung meron, ah, okay, uh, wala na tayo restoration. Ano? Pero may mga siguro konting adjustment pagdating doon sa ano. Kasi minsan kasi pag uh, when you restore a film kasi minsan may mga artifacts na dumalabas. So, yun, oh. yun yung medyo minsan yung tinatanggal mo yung ano, artifacts na dumalabas. Pagka meron. Inaalis ka, ko ba yung mga pag- cigarette burns? Yung parang mga, yung mga dot na indicator na magpapalit na ng reel. Inaalis nyo ba yun? Ayaw, yung hindi. change over marks. Ah, yung change ano, over like, well, Yes, nakatanggal yun sa manual restoration. Ah, okay. So, ito meron pa nun, yung mga ganun. Meron pa nun. So, automated kasi, hindi. Hmm. Oh, di, ano, kasi masyado siyang deep siya eh. Masyadong malalim yung gasgas. Very greens, na, alis, yung greens, yung mga lines, di ba? Yung ah, molds. Yeah. Yung molds na alis din sa, ano, sa full restoration. Automatic. Ah, Pero okay. auto, automatic, hindi siya natatanggal. Siguro so, napapawasan uh, ng... Ah, uh, okay. 
Yung tanong ko lang, paano mo masasabi kung fully restored na yung isang pelikula or I mean, kumbaga, kumbaga pag pinadaan mo na sa automatic, pwede na to, ganyan, good na yan. Or pwede mo pa kasing, I mean, you can spend more effort na ba- bawat tuldok, bawat grain of, like parang bawat scratch talaga, pabubura mo frame by frame, di ba? That would be yes. more costly. Pero at what point does it become, alam mo yun, fully restored or... Pagka first thing, guess, yun, Mahal yun pag pristine. So, depende yun uh-huh. sa nagpapatutore. Kung, kasi, di ba, meron kasi ano yan eh, uh, after the restoration kasi, uh, ipapanood sa inyo yung pelikula for quality checking, for final approval. And then, kung meron ka pang mga corrections, kung minimal lang naman yung corrections mo, wala naman ang additional charges yan eh. Pero, pag uh, medyo uh, matindi, madami yung ipapakorek mo, yun siguro may mga additional charges mo yun. So, depende din sa'yo kung hanggang saan yung kaya mong yung acceptable sa'yo sa restoration. Hi, Sir Leo. I think she's, Sir Leo is still already with us. Can you hear us? Uh, mong hindi pa. Pero I, I, I want to introduce uh, our another guest panelist. Si, this is, ano... Um, Anna Karina Avellana Kosho. She has a Bachelor of Arts in Comparative Literature and Master of Arts in Media Studies, both done in UP. She's worked with as a Media Desk Officer, Project Development Officer for FDCP. Uh, she's also worked as part-time lecturer uh, for UP, uh, UP Film Institute, uh, St. Paul University QC. She's also worked as a freelance writer and she now works for UP Diliman Film Institute as a university researcher. Uh, she's also the granddaughter of the director of this film that was just restored, uh, national artist, um, director Aviliana. She's, she's the daughter of, uh, she's the granddaughter. So she's the favorite granddaughter of uh, director Lamberto Aviliana. Who directed the film that we just saw restored before our very eyes? So let's bring it up for Miss Ina. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, Iko pala yung favorite. <laughs> Do you have any recollections nung when you were with your grandfather, mga memories mo with him, ganyan? Well, I was, my grandfather died when I was 13. So, um, I'm I'm the sixth among the seven grandchildren. So, uh, you know, I I, I know him from uh, way back, let's say, when he was shooting the documentaries in, in Pinatubo, Bonifacio, in Documentary Incorporated. Okay. That's, that's where I would uh, go with him to to learn about everything. You're so lucky you have memories of him. Because yung grandfather ko hindi ko na na meet. Pero anyway, napanod mo na rin balat ng pili ko ng lolo mo. Or uh, karamihan. Yes. Karamihan, karamihan. Uh, the good thing about this is that I've actually for this particular film, Anak Dalita, I've actually already seen this film in let's say even in the 35 millimeter. Uh, with the projection screen running behind me in, Me- in SM Mega Mall in 2003. And then wow. I already saw it in the VHS and then also in another co- uh, 35 millimeter again, let's say in Cinematic Baguio in 2015, oh. the opening film for Cinematic Baguio. Ah, so, Steve. So, ilang beses mo na rin pala napanood ng pelikula to? Pero itong bagong yes, restoration, uh, nakita, nakita mo naman yung difference, di ba? May ginawa din silang special yung 2K scan, di ba? So, para marirefresh yes. din sa'yo yung memory ng film. Um, mm-hmm. How does it work? How does it feel to work for a film archive? Kasi nagtrabaho ka rin with the archives, di ba? Tapos, uh, yes. how does it feel to work in preserving our natural, uh, our national heritage through yung nga, film preservation? I feel actually uh, very fortunate about this because we uh, we were among the first batch who actually even got opportunity to ha- to have a workshop under Ms. under Senor Pablo Garcia Casado. 
he, he was brought in by the Spanish embassy to teach us how to how just on archiving. So we oh, were the only galing. batch who does. So and then the fact that I was also able to have experience in um, data ar data archiving is also very good for me. Oh, uh, okay. So, ano yung reaction ng family now that nalaman yun nila na ni-restore to ulit in 2K scan and may bagong ginawa? Are they excited about it? Yes, yes. Uh, we've been very excited about it. Uh, not only the family here, but also the family from uh, from uh, all over the world. From, you know, because uh, oh, the cool, good, oh. uh, my Lolo is uh, the Nash is the first national artist for film for theater and film in the oh. in the Philippines so it's a, it's oh. a dual award oh, alam ko si Lamberto Avellano yung una talagang na declare na national artist for film and theater so yeah that's yes. awesome can we show the ano uh, the national artist medal can we pull it up uh, tech people and the trophy also of anak dalita oh this one is the this one is the this one is the statue, no? Pero yeah, it's just the statue, yung, yes. Hmm. Meron din yung necklace, right? And the, Oh, this yeah. one's the trophy. This was, uh, no, so I think this award is Asia to, di ba? Is this not yes. Philippines? It's Asia, trophy yes. na to is an Asian trophy. So, kumbaga, the Lamberto Avellana was not just Philippine, like hailed in the Philippines. He was hailed all over Asia. So this one is his, yes. is his award. Yeah. Is this for Alak Dalita? Yes, yes. This is okay. Ah, okay, okay. Amazing. So, uh, and then coming up next would be the, this would be the National Artist Medal. That's super yes, cool. National. Do you have that, Nina? Yeah, is we, actually. Yes, oh, actually. you have it? If I had one of those, I'd wear it like I'd wear it every day, you know. Hindi mo sinuot yan, tinay mo na suotin. Or hindi pa? Hindi pa. Pero mabigat, mabigat. Wow, ang ganda naman yan. Wow. Yeah, and yes, an interesting fact actually is that if if the national artist is awarded, let's say for film or theater, the center most part is uh, if you see the masks. That's what they use for the center most part. And then if it's for visual arts, they'll, they'll revert it. Something like that. Ah, paano, paano? Yung sa gitna? Yung sa gitna. Napapalitan? Yung sa gitna. Yes, yes. At so, depende kung anong ilipat... category ka ma-declare. Iba yung itsura yes, ng medal. Yes. Ah, so ito yung yes. particular medal na to, dalawa, tama ba? Dahil ah, theater tsaka yan. film eh. Ah, isa, lang. isa lang yan kasi pwede naman yung mask for theater in film eh, di ba? Kasi it's theater and then wala ah, naman, okay, hindi okay. naman kayo. Oh, magkaugnay naman yun, tama. So, yeah. um, should we introduce Ms. Rosa na? Are we ready for her? Sige, sige. So ano, Ina, um, nasa iyo yan, ikaw yung nagtago nung physical medal, pati yung trophy nasa iyo? Actually, the, the trophy and the medal are now with, with the Film Development Center, with the Film Development in, in Manila. Ah, nasa FDCP, tinurn over mo. But then, you know, it, it still belongs to your family, pero they're the ones... Na it's, it's, it's on temporary. It's on temporary loan to them. Because they have ah, a museum. Okay. Ah, para sa museum nila. That's that's great. Uh, guys, pag uh, nagkaroon ng time after the pandemic, you guys can visit the museum. And I've actually been there. I've seen the giant uh, statue of your grandfather doon. Yes. Nakita ko na siya. Tapos recently nakikita ko, napapansin ko, na, ewan ko ah, kung common na ginagawa nung grandpa mo yun. Parang napapansin ko sa mga old photos, pag nagde-direct siya, wala siyang shirt. Kasi I guess mainit. Yeah. Ganun, di ba? Parang, yeah. Saka, yeah, siya, she... parang ang ganda din ng katawan niya and everything. Eh. Parang so okay, di ba? Parang sabi ko, ang galing ni Viliana, parang iba yung dating. Parang he's wearing white pants tapos parang ano, directing 
in the buff, di ba? <laughs> cool. Anyway, ano pa mga iba mong memories ng grandpa mo? Baka may, may pwede kang i-share. Actually, that, that shot, that um, sculpture was taken from his of probably from his office, let's say, in Bonnie. Because that, this was his recent position when he's located beside um, producing, the editing the documentaries behind ah, the Mabiola. Okay. Yes. Oh. So, how many of your grandfather's movies survived, uh, you know, deterioration and time, ganun? So, uh, apart from Anak Dalita, how many other movies are there? Actually, I'm not, I haven't actually really counted that yet. Since there are so Uh-oh. many movies, yes, documentaries, yes, sir. But, uh, you know, the, the thing is that, you know, since since we lost uh, his first film, Sakai, in 1937. Ah, Sakai is gone. Oh. Saka is gone because of the war. So it's very unfortunate because since, um, for the younger generation, I mean, they never even knew that there's a Sakai done by the Petra Fabiana because as far as they're concerned, the first Sakai is done by Raymond Red. It's just ah, not oh, true. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, actually, the first Sakai is done by your grandfather pala. But the film is lost. Yes. That's uh, unfortunate. Yes. Yes. I, I think it's an... Uh, this... The difference... Uh, the anak is 35 millimeter. Mm-hmm. Um, and Sakai was 16, and it's, so it's a different thing. It, it probably was burned during the, during uh, the first world okay. war. Well, second world um, war. Yes. Oh, and daming lost na mga pre-war films. Eh. Buti yung ibong Adar na na restore pa nila, which I think is a pre-war film. Tama ba, Julie? Yes. Yes, uh, it's a 1940. So, yeah. 1942, tama ba? 41. 41, wow. Tapos yeah. yung effects ng Ibong Adar. I really wanna see it. I missed the screening nung huli. Oh, sorry. Hindi ko na panood eh. Sayang. Uh-huh. Um, pero gusto mo at surviving ay na, napanood mo na lahat. Uh, yeah, most of the films actually. Napanood ko na even uh, the Doc Yu, ganun. Yes, actually, even even those, even some of those. Oh. So, what feeling does the the the, the films, what what, like besides you know like being you know, close to the material and the creator of the material, what, what do you find uh from the films? What do you derive out of them? Well, Para well, instead, um, yes, well, well, my lolo always uh like doing things in the raw you know like really raw raw reality where everything's natural in fact the good the most interesting thing about anak dalita or as they call child of sorrow is mm-hmm. that this is the, the films where he actually got to go to intramuros he saw <laughs> the raw reality of the squatters there he didn't have to build the set on lvn so, ah, so even for location in in yeah, even for stars like oh. Rosa Rosal and Tony Santos, he was there with with Ross Bayer, the the screenplay writer. So everything everything's there. The whole film galing, is there. So so yes. the yung buong pelikula shinut nila sa Intramuros. Hindi hindi ako aware doon. Akala ko ibang parts shinut nila sa LVN Studios. Uh, I think ready na si uh, Oh, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Florence Lansang Danon, or widely known as Rosa Rosal. She started her career as an actor, actress as a, at a very young age, 19 years old. She's best known for her work in Anak Dalita, the, the movie we're doing now, Biaya ng Lupa, I've seen this, and Bajau, among others. She has won a multi, multitude of awards, including the Best Famous Actress Award, which consequently used her figure as the model for the trophy. So, siya pala yung ano, katawan ng FAMAS. Ang galing. So, did you guys know that? Anyway, uh, Rosa Rosal became best known for her work in the Philippine Red Cross, which she has dedicated her life to. Um, and the blood program became the theme of her life. She's also funded countless scholars to achieve their dreams. In the early 2000s, she was bestowed the prestigious Ramon Magsaysay Award for her public service. To this day, at the age of 92, she still lives and breathes for Philippine cinema and the Philippine Red Cross. She hopes that through her life's work, the Filipino of the generations past and those of 
Filipinos to come will appreciate the beauty of Philippine culture and traditions, that through our advocacies, every Filipino person will value life to be a man or woman for others, and that through her stories and being every Filipino will embody the true essence of being Pinoy. Uh, Miss Rosa Rosal, give it up for her. Hello. Hello, Tita Rose. Hello, Tita Rose. Hello? Okay, that's that was Tita Rose. I was gonna ask her a few questions, Anna, but um, oh, wait, Ina's gone. Hello. Oh, there, Ina's back. Hi, Ina. Yes. Hello, hi, Ro hi. hello, Julie. Hello. Hi, Ina Rose. I think we have internet ano eh, parang glitchy glitches. Pero, ayun, she's with us, guys. Um, and it's uh, a true pleasure for us to have her here. Okay. And uh, hello, Tita Rose. What I think she's trying to tell me. You to want to do it right here. Hello, fire me lag. Oh, there. Yes, yes. Okay. Tita Rose, can you tell us more about yes. ano, filming uh, Anak Dalita? Do you have any recollections about Anak Dalita? Because they've restored the film, and how do you feel about that? And if you can tell us about any memories regarding... Uh, anak well, we would it would be a pleasure uh I, I, that that was directed by uh by, by a well known director and uh I credit for it and uh he's been plugging most of my things and and I thank him for that oh that's amazing. Um, could you invite everybody po to watch it again? How do you feel about it being restored and you know, parang remastered, cleaned up for more people to watch? Well, I'm, I'm very, very proud of the film, and uh, LBN is really, they went out of their way to really make, make a go of it, and it's a yeah. beautiful film. Everybody yeah, it's a beautiful film. Yes. Yes, everybody, please watch it. Uh, take it from Tita Rose. Uh, she's brilliant yes. in it. Please watch it. I've seen it. I just saw it Kanina again. I've seen it multiple times. So you guys, if you can get, you know, you can get your hands on a copy through digital means, like they're going to release it. They're going to premiere it. So just wait for that time. And then, you know, uh, hindi mas sayang yung data well, nyo. Just, you know, watch it. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm so glad that uh, Manuel Silos really went out of his way. Really. Well, Oh, yeah. Have you seen it? Have you seen the movie? Have you seen the movie? So, did you shoot it all in Intramuros? Do you remember shooting the film in Intramuros, Tita Rose? How was well, Aveliana as a director? No, it's uh, Manuel Gilo. 
Oh. oh. I don't know. Okay. Well. Um. So. Have you seen the movie? Oh. Oh yeah, I've saw, I've seen the movie. It's it's really great. Um, FDCP uh, wait, guys, it's available at fdcpchannel.ph. Guys, take note from October thirty one to December thirteen. So it's available right now for viewing for free. So you just need to go to fdcpchannel.ph to watch the film. So guys, everybody here. I want to thank Sir Leo, Julie, Ina, and Tita Rose for you know um, making it possible for everybody to experience this masterpiece of Philippine cinematic history, Anak Dalita. Um, and it's available for free uh, once again, fpcpchannel.ph from October 31 to December 13. Guys, panot na lang para mapanood nyo din. Kasi maganda siya. Napanood ko na. And everybody's proud of all the work that they've done and put in here. Mm -hmm. From the audience. Hi. Oh, good you. afternoon. I'm gonna put in some questions from the audience. From the audience. Hi. Good afternoon to the panelists. I'd like to ask what their thoughts are for students who wish to venture into film archiving and restoration. Given the complexity and sensitivity of the process of restoration, are the opportunities for such career present upon com or film graduates? Baka yung pinakamakasagot ito si Miss Julie, no? Parang, Miss Julie, ano yung masasabi mo doon? Nagtatanong sila kung paano sila papasok sa ganitong linya ng trabaho. Yeah, actually kasi ngayon, <laughs> the COVID, tapos sa EBS kasi ngayon, hindi basta nakakapasok. Uh, not, not even be, not be, uh, like before na na yung mga students nakakapunta sa office para mag-research tsaka para mag para mag-tour may mga estudyante din kasi na from UP or from PUP na mapa sa uh, ABS para makita din yung post para makita nila yung proseso eh. pero ngayon kasi uh, dahil na uh, because of the covid may mga protocols uh Hindi, parang hindi siya masyad, hindi siya ano, feasible now na magawa itong mm. ano. Lalo na kasi physical siya eh. Kailangan ng physical presence para maituro kung paano ba ginagawa yung Kasi ang babalikan mo yung pili ko na mismo eh. Siguro pag digital, uh, kasi ngayon may cloud na pwede, pwede mo na i-transfer. Pwede mong gawin yun sa restoration, digital restoration. Pero for hmm. mismo yung film archiving, medyo mahira pa sa now. Okay. Well, Another question from the... Thank you, Julie. I'm very proud of the movie. I'm very, very proud. And uh, I hope that there be a lot of people who really watch it. Because it's, it's, a, it's, it's a simple... Nice movie. Oh, thank you, Ms. thank you, Tita Rose. Thank you, Julie. Um, another question from the audience for Miss Ina. Uh, are there any oh. films that directed ni Lamberto Avellana, your grandfather, na gusto mo ding restore besides Anak Dalita? Um, I think you should give particular importance to uh, Bajau since uh, you know also Rosal also stories in it and it's even uh, films like let's see, uh, Aklat, Aklat ng Buhay also stories Miss Foster. So you know there's other films. This is, she's one of the most uh, should I say actresses of my career. So um, when it comes to full length films, these are probably the, the three films that will best be restored. Even the ability. Ah, that's, that's cool. At least we have something to, more to look forward to from our national yes. artist for film and theater, Lamberto Avellana's body of work, soon to be restored, hopefully. Can I say yes. something about Akrat ng Buhay? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, oh. I saw that film when I was in LVN. That was really a good uh, film of Lamberto Avellana. But unfortunately, because uh, we don't have that. Um, format in film, 35mm or 16 in the archives of ABS-CBN. So I think we won't be able to uh, 
the story because the the source would come from fake. I think it's only a VHS copy that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. But but well, ako, marami kong lost films eh, na VHS copy uh, na lang or Betamax or uh, um, oh, pero but for uh, for, uh, ano pa ba yung ah uh, so, yung sorry. ba Junior who is can and restore it already and it was shown I think in Cinema One um, ah yung ba Jow na gawa na okay. yeah, so, uh, it came from our source came from 35mm Maganda yung kopya. Maganda ang oh, contrast. Kopya. Mag yeah, maganda yung kopya. So, hindi kami masyadong nahirap. Mister, Pero meron siya. Paliwanag mo na ko yung uh, difference ng celluloid, which is, kumbaga, yung may pelikula pa talaga. Baka hindi na alam ng mga tao ang itsura nun, eh, no? Basta para siyang strip na ganito, tapos may mga notches sa gilid. Yun, pelikula yeah. yun, eh. Yun yung, yun yung, yun yung, yun yung tinatawag na film, guys. Anyway, yung potential for restoration mas mataas kapag meron kang film print or film negative na nag-survive. Eh, medyo maselan siya. Hindi ganun karami yung nag-survive. So, pasalamat tayo dun sa mga nag-save sa kanila. Katulad ni Sir Leo Katigbak, kay Miss Julie na ginawa nila yung trabaho nila para sa ating lahat, para ma-experience natin itong mga pelikulang to. Um, tanong lang po kay Miss Rosa, uh, 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 ano yung mga paborito nyo pong pelikula na ginawa nyo, na balak nyo, uh, na wish nyo po na mapalabas ulit, besides uh, anak dali tapo? Ay, parang medyo choppy po si ano, medyo nagka-signal problem. So, I'll jump to the next question. Ano? Pakiulit. Hello, for Miss Julie from PPP, where can we watch these heritage films, Ju Miss Julie? Sando, besides uh, PPP. Oh. Yeah, uh, for the restored films, they are available in uh, different OTT platforms. Uh, we have iTunes, and then we also have uh, also available in Amazon. Pero hindi pa kasi lahat eh. So, unti unti na namin kasi siya na nilalagay sa mga ano, digital platforms. So, pero mostly, our restored uh, films are already in iTunes for Apple TV. You can also watch some of our restored films through Netflix. Um, at saka, minsan, uh, pinapalabas din siya sa Cinema One sa Kapabino Channel. So, actually, they're all av uh, available anywhere oh. now. Kasi, uh, madali na ngayon eh. Tsaka, di ba meron yung ano, CBS-CBN? film restoration and nagpapalabas na rin po ngayon ngayon ng mga restored films. So ina-announce naman uh, namin yun sa amin. When we have that uh, new films uh, ready for streaming online. Okay. Oh guys, pakisundan na lang po. Follow and like the um, FDCP page and then also yung ABS-CBN film restoration page para makakuha po kayo ng updates kung kailan po maging available yung mga pelikulang to. Um, if you, you know, if you really take it upon yourself na aralin siya at maghanap na itong mga pelikula nito, makikita at makikita mo because the people working behind these films na yung restoration and everything, lahat sila, they're working hard para map, 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 mapanood nyo ulit. So, let's show our appreciation for their hard work by actually going out of our way to look for these films and to watch them on our own time, on our phone even, di ba? Pwede yan. So, um, uh, Miss Rosa, are you back with us? Tita Rose, are you there? Can you hear me? Hi. Ano po yung mga favorite films niyo na ginawa niyo po? Uh, which film? Which Which are your favorite films? And 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 then kung na rin favorite film one. Lahat sila. They're all my favorite. Oh, that's good. Because well, it's really, it's really wonderful to see a, a, a movie like this. I remember Tita Rose. I watched, I know, be, uh, another film, naman, uh, Biaya ng Lupa, uh, with you at the premiere. I think mga last year, ganyan. So yes, yun, uh, so. it was, uh, it was super nice to see you there. 
watch it. Iba din, no, pag uh, pinalabas sa malaking sinihan, nakakamiss nga kasi may COVID na ngayon, hindi na tayo pwedeng manood sa sine masyado, unless naka-gear tayo. Pero with the help of this new technology, we can watch it from the comfort of our own homes. Mm-hmm. Pero yun, I remember it fondly oh, to see you there at the premiere. Congratulations you for going out of your way to be able to, to do what you've done for this movie. Because I'm very, very proud. And I'd like, you are part of that. Okay, another question from the audience to all the panelists. Uh, how can the public yes. participate in the efforts of film preservation and restoration? Pa- paano po natin hihikayatin yung mga mamamayan na paano sila makakatulong? I mean, parang it seems it's a specialized uh, field na parang kailangan may background ka talaga. Pero ano yung, mga, yung common, the common people, well, how can they help? Miss Julie, Ina, Tita yeah, Rose? Siguro- uh, for me, kasi ano, uh, siguro we just have to support every restored film being uh, streamed or screen, uh, para magkaroon ng awareness, at saka mas circulate din po yung na uh, we have this kind of films na nire-restore natin para ma-reach out yung mga, uh, yung mga viewers, yung ating, ating generation today, para for them na uh, we have this kind of film that they can appreciate and they can enjoy uh, watching in a uh, better version. Uh, Siguro, para supportahan nila, para hindi tumigil ang restoration din. Kasi kung wala rin madunood, wala rin, diba? pag wala rin madunood, wala tayo old yan. Oh, you know, they really went out of their way to be able to, to, to make a presentation. And they were successful in that. And mm. thank you, thank you. And you are you are a part of that of this activism. The Rose, uh, Ina, do you have any thoughts on on how other yeah, uh, public yes, can help? In, yes, in support to uh, what Miss Judy said, you know, it's also the, we got to also support um, the restoration. Let's say even the films that not only from 35, but even from other farmers like young know, short films, whether they're uh-huh. shown in Netflix or in Vimeo or in YouTube. Uh-huh. So that's the best way the young can can know about archiving or even uh, join uh, the, the right now there are webinars on uh, Philippine arch- archiving uh, done by the Society of, of uh, Film Archivists, which I'm part of. Yeah. Uh, I'm a part of that too. So yun nga, I guess the yes. public can help best by involving themselves in the consumption of these uh, artifacts. You know, these are kumbaga para kultura natin to eh. So panoorin niyo kasi sayang naman yung effort nila Julie, nila Sir Leo, nila Ina in restoring all these films. Kasi hindi niyo naman ipapanood. So kailangan kumbaga pag ipakalat niyo dahil these are wholesome pictures that, you know, I think Every Filipino should watch as part of them yes, being Filipino. Yes, yes. Dapat panoorin nila. Yun. So, ayun, tangkilikin nyo na lang. Yun yung, mm-hmm. ano, ha. Uh, you are the companions there. You have done a good job of uh, promoting it. And I'm so yes. proud of that. And uh, and I, 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 I am b- behind you. If there's anything that you want me to, to do for you, just let me know. I'll do it for you. Thank you, Tita Rose. Did, your presence okay. here is already a gift okay. enough. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, speaking with us uh, and being here. Thank you. Um, final words na, let's wrap this up. So, Miss Julie, mga, any final thoughts? Tapos, Ina, and then Tita Rose, I'll leave it for you, yung last words. Yeah, Thank of course. You. Uh, I Thank have, you. I have, yeah, I am older. Thank you. Oh, you're good, You've Julie. Good of promoting you. And I would Thank like you. To, to give you Thank you, Tita Rose. Any final thoughts, yeah. Ina, or you guys are good? You guys are good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. He's also watched uh, Nakdarita and uh, Portrait Artists of Filipino, both showing on Casa Grande or on Facebook page. Thank you. Oh, guys, I know. Um, alam mo, uh, yes, okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Tita Rose. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Ms. Julie. Okay, you guys. Okay to. Thank you, Maganda mga pelikula. Thank you, everyone. Okay na mapanood din lahat. So, lahat ng nanonood nito, panoorin niyo po yung pelikula. Thank you po. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Leo. Thank you very much to our panelists, Mr. Leo Katigbak, Ms. Julie Galino, Ms. Ina Kosho, and Ms. Rosa Rosal, and our moderator, Mr. Rap Fernandez, for an engaging discussion. Thank you to our dear audience as well for tuning in. We hope to see you on our next sessions. Thanks for tuning in, guys. For more details on CPP, please check our social media accounts. Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com slash FDCP PPP. And Twitter at FDCP underscore PPP. And Instagram at Pista ng Pilikulang Pilipino. To register to PPP film screenings and public events, visit our website at fdcpchannel.ph. To the Philippine Film Archive website. Feel free to look around and check what the Film Archive of the country has been up to as of now. Here's a short tour of the website. Hovering your cursor on the About tab will offer you more information about PFA. What's On will give you options to check the various events and activities that the PFA is involved in. The Collection tab shows cataloged film and other related matters. Then there's also the Cinematheque, Media Library, Services, and the Contact Us tab. Going to About will introduce you to the Film Development Council of the Philippines, which the PFA is under of. The mission and vision, the things we do, and other details that might surprise your interest. In collection, get to know more about what's safely kept in the archive, the guidelines on film deposits, and we look forward to donations. Going to catalog under collection, you can search for films. Searching can also be sorted out by type, genre, or even by year. Typing for a particular title can be done here. Select among the results and find more details. Still under collection, let's go to non-film. You can check out the various categories under non-film collection such as posters, tools and equipment, books and journals, and others. For now, here are some of the tools and equipment, some of it we still use at the Film Archive. Going to the Media Library tab, visitors can go around and view clips from different films, sort them through types, genres, and also by year. You can also type in the specific title you are looking for, then click on the search result and view the clips available. Those interested may also submit a viewing request here and fill out the necessary details. The viewing though can only be done within the PFA premises. Down here, visitors can submit the review on films, which we highly encourage. 
With the Services tab, you can choose various assistance and services that the PFA offers. Hovering your cursor on each one shows details and the particular services cost, though mostly are free except scanning and requesting of clips of footages. Those require a bit of resources and the fees would help in maintaining these offered services. Further down to other services offered, there's film screening which also has a minimal fee. Digital transfers from tapes to hard disk drives that the client will provide. Screener requests where the client should first secure approval from owner of the requested film. And lastly, the Intellectual Property Protection Program which assists on reporting films being misused illegally. For other services which the client might have in mind, they may submit an online inquiry by filling up the form here. In the Contact Us tab, above the contact number, email address, and the office hours, is a map which conveniently indicates where FTCP and PFA can be located within Manila. Online inquiries may also be filled up here. Films are an enduring legacy of a people and their culture. However, in the Philippines, the lack of proper storage and care for these films mean that these cultural treasures might not be so lasting after all. Doon kasi, kahit na anong efforts namin to preserve the film, nagsa-fail because of the storage problem. With the advent of digitalization, ABS-CBN found the perfect opportunity to do its part in preserving serving an integral part of Filipino heritage. The restoration campaign is a great legacy of ABS-CBN. I salute you talaga sa project na to. Para bang mag-flashback ako ulit sa kabataan ko while watching. This is admirable. This is tailblazing. This is very good for Philippine cinema. For us also to have an understanding of the culture and history of our people. In the year 2011, ABS-CBN Film Restoration was born. It pioneered the digital restoration and remastering of classic Filipino movies. With more than 150 restored movies and counting, the campaign received overwhelming support from actors and directors. Praises from movies critics and deep appreciation from people through social media. ABS-CBN launched in 2015 the Sagip Pelikula campaign. It really feels good to see a work restored after so many years. It's so alive. Habang may panahon, iligtas natin, kultura natin yan, kaluluwa natin yan bilang mga Pilipino. Na bibigyan halaga yung mga ginawa naming klasiko nung araw. Mga youth na manonood ngayon, 
they'll appreciate it more. Which aims not just to restore classic films, but also to make them available for this generation and the generations to come through different platforms. Now is the time to watch the films of before and you compare the films of now. Marami mga classic na pelikula na kinakailangan talaga iligtas bago ito matuloy ang makalimutan ng mga tao. Huwag silang hihinto sa paggawa nito kasi this is the only chance na makakapanood yung generation ngayon. Ultimately, films are cultural artifacts that reflect who we are as a people and in turn affect who we will become as a nation. Uplifts the values, cultural and historical awareness and sense of national pride of Filipino viewers. Kailangan magmadali na magligtas na magligtas sa mga pelikulang ito bago tuloy ang lahat sila maging turotot o matapon o mapunta sa kung saan man at mawala. Napakahalaga na alam natin ang kasaysayan ng pelikulang Pilipino. Maraming movies in the 80s or even before then na talagang kailangan mapanood natin not just to appreciate but also to study how they were. Pag pinanood natin ngayon yun, mas matututo pa tayo, mas ma-appreciate natin yung Philippine filmmaking. Para sa lahat, no? para sa kultura natin, para sa identity natin as a Filipino. That is why ABS-CBN Film Restoration is committed to preserving Philippine cinema. Because we all deserve to see classic films.